Hey there, everybody. Here we are in the little village Dotri, the top of West Bengal in India, on the India Nepal border. There's the little village down there you can see. It's pretty cloudy today, but the sun's bright also. The 7,000 something feet up here, getting ready to start our six day trek in the Himalayas. So let's see how it goes. Here I am on the trail, making our way to Tanglu. The trail is like this. I don't know if you can see lots of rocks and pretty much up all day. We just ran across a woodpecker, so that was pretty cool to see. And I love the woods. One thing I really miss about being in Pennsylvania. All the woods, don't get much of that in India. But here it is. Just gotta climb high to find them. So, yeah, check back again later. Here's some pretty rhododendron trees on the path. Lots of guys carrying bamboo on the path. Luckily we don't have to do that. Still pretty cloudy. We're not going to see much once we get to the top. But we'll continue on. Just climbed up that whole way. It's pretty strenuous for the first day. Oh. But almost there. Last two minutes. I'm gonna get to eat and rest. And then I guess I'll film some more tomorrow. So, see y'all then. John and Rosie are behind me somewhere. Coming around there as so we continue to walk on this very, very rocky path. Gotta pay attention to where I'm stepping or where I trip. But, yeah. Very short day today. Get in for lunch and then take a rest for the evening. Tomorrow we got a bit of a longer day. I don't remember the exact mileage, and it's all in kilometers, so um, I think tomorrow is maybe 17 kilometers, 17 or 18. Um, so yeah, maybe about 10 miles or so. So, to see on the top of Tanglu, you're supposed to be able to see Everest on a clear day, but as you can tell, very cloudy today. I have to wake up tomorrow in the morning, see if the clouds have disappeared or not. If not, we'll have to try again the next day. See if we can see the snow capped peaks. Alright. Hey there. Day two on our six day trek. I'm on probably the hardest part of the trek so far. I'm straight up. Uh, there's the path. I don't know if you can see it down there. The clouds coming in really fast. Uh, yeah, so got really burnt. You can see my face is so pink. Um, yeah, I gotta wear some more sunblock up here above the clouds. Get really burnt. <laughs> so continue on. We got. Uh, yeah, we've probably gone about seven or eight miles so far. Got another one or two to go. And then get to rest. So, probably won't take another video since my battery is dying. So, we'll see if there's a place to charge it while we stay tonight. Alright, see ya. Yeah, today was really beautiful. Woke up at about 5.15 this morning to watch the sunrise. Uh, and the sun hitting Mount Katkanjunga, which is so beautiful. The third highest mountain in the world. 
and we got to watch it for our morning hike. So for a couple hours this morning, we were just watching the mountain. Uh, and then we entered a national park, uh, which was nice. And we didn't get to see any red pandas. They said it's not the season, so I'll be super bummed. But there's still a chance, I guess, <laughs> we could see one of those. Um, yeah, I'm sitting here taking a break, uh, waiting for John, Rosie, and Sherry uh, to get here. And this last little bit we did was really tough. Uh, really, really steep for, you know, about two miles probably. Um, but I think we only got one uh, or so to go until we get into town, which is nice. Um, it's only about midday now, 12.30. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, my, my face is really pink. <laughs> um, I forgot to bring sunblock with me. And we've been above the clouds most of the day, um, where the sun is much brighter. So I'll have to see uh, if somebody else has some can put it on. Uh, I don't want to get much more red than this. Uh, but yeah, it's been really beautiful. Lots of magnolia trees and rhododendrons. Uh, yeah, so it's been really fun and beautiful. And got to get in about nine miles today. Uh, see how it goes. Hey again. Day four. I didn't take any video yesterday because my battery is still really low. And thought there would be a charging place, but there wasn't. Um, yeah, yesterday was tough. We climbed quite a bit. I think the last mile we climbed 700 feet. Um, we got to a total of 11,700 yesterday. Uh, this morning, the sunrise was beautiful. We got to see Everest um, past the clouds and some more of Kankanjunga. So it was really beautiful. Really cold though, <laughs> really cold. So um, today we decided to change our route and head back down the mountain today. Um, I think we're dropping like 5,000 feet today. Um, so it's getting warmer, but I'm trying to keep covered. I'm wearing my gum shell on my head uh, to stop hopefully more sunburns. Um, so it gets a little bit difficult to sleep with all the sunburn. But yeah, today so far has been really beautiful. Walking through pines, walking through bamboo at the moment, which is beautiful, and some rhododendrons. So. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. Hey there. So we finished our trek uh, in five days. Um, after the last video, um, we kind of went straight downhill from there. We dropped a lot um, in a short amount of distance. So I uh, woke up on day five really sore. My calves were killing me uh, just from all the downhill we were doing. Uh, but then day five was really easy. We just walked um, on the village road um, to the next village where we were catching our uh, shared taxi up here to Darjeeling. So in Darjeeling at the moment, um, we've not had any good views in Darjeeling. Uh, I don't know if you can see anything out there, but it's all just kind of foggy and cloudy. So we got really lucky up in Sandakfu and got to see the whole mountain range and watch the sunset on the mountain range it was really beautiful. Uh, we heard some from other groups that they were, stayed up there for three days and didn't get any good views. Um, and then the day they left was the day we got there and got the good views. So we got really lucky with that because it's kind of hit or miss uh, up here whether the clouds will part and you'll get to see the mountains or not. So uh, yeah, really happy about that. Um, today we are actually headed back down. Um, our train is this evening, so we'll take a, another taxi down the hill and then catch our train back to Kolkata, uh, which I hear the heat in Kolkata is really, really bad. They actually postponed the voting, uh, the state votes, because they didn't want people standing outside at the polls because the heat was so bad. Um, I checked the temperature briefly and it's hovering around 110, uh, but with the humidity, you know, up in the 120s, 130s, uh, feels like temperature. So we'll see how that goes after almost three weeks in the mountains in Nepal and uh, here in northern India, uh, not really looking forward to getting back to the hot season. Um, but yeah, I had a really great time. I feel... Uh, rejuvenated and refreshed and um, yeah back to 
back to Kolkata. Get there in the morning. Our train's overnight, so we'll get there in the morning just in time to for Bengali New Year, which is uh, tomorrow in West Bengal. Well, they celebrate on the fifteenth, so uh, yeah, it'll be fun to you know see neighbors and um, probably get some good food from them for New Year's, um, and then jump back into life in Kolkata. So yeah, thanks for. Watching, following along. Sorry, I couldn't take more video. I thought there was going to be more places to charge um, my phone, but there wasn't. So, sporadic video uh, here and there, but I took some nice pictures. I'll put them on there. So, yeah, thanks for following along. See ya.